During my tour, I met a person I once saw in the Namibia news, Urban Lombeni Shaumbaku, whose name had surfaced in media reports concerning Palapala robbery at President Ramaphosa's farmhouse. Contrary to public belief and to Namibia news headlines, Urbanas is not saving time for the Palapala farm robbery, but for unrelated cooked up offenses, namely reckless driving, possession of unlicensed firearms, and defeating the ends of justice, all of which was discovered on some mysterious roadblock on some Sunday uh, afternoon. He's serving a 20 year term. If I had enough time, I would show you the, the issues there. But today, Urbana shared disturbing details about his arrest. He described months of surveillance, random searches, and raids prior to his arrest. More alarmingly, he confirmed that his legal team was approached by Dr. Pejani Chauke, the president's former advisor, to ensure that Palapala robbery would not be used as a defense. In exchange, he was offered a plea deal promising early release and financial compensation. He also signed non-disclosure agreements preventing him discussing the robbery. These revelations only intensify our concern as the MK about the irregularities around the Palapala farm saga. The state's introduction of irrelevant financial evidence during his trial, combined with the secretive nature of the plea deal, suggests a possible attempt to cover up the truth. Today's conversation has strengthened the MK Party's resolve to pursue justice, as the MK Party will remain committed to uncovering the truth behind uh, Palapala. We are now even more determined to explore private prosecution. We will request key information from the NPA uh, and all of those uh, involved in there. Let me conclude. That director of public prosecution who gave President a clean bill of health must be summoned to the Justice Committee to account for the poor quality of NPA investigations. We will do a press briefing on this in the next coming days as the MK Party. Thank you very much.